Dwight. JPO. All right. Dead end. You know the deal. Here we go. Let's get started in three, two, one. Click. Skip. Because victory is in a single soul. Come on. You didn't even hear us out. Our orders are clear. The Mistral Atlas border is closed. And Please also wear silly a hats. Day. But a good day. Hey, if you don't want to believe that I'm friends with Ironwood. General Ironwood. Yeah, Jimmy. Ironwood. Then fine. But look, we have White Schnee with us, and we're trying to get her home safely. Approach! Very well. You may speak with our commanding officer. We will fetch her at once. They were kind of super weird. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. What's wrong? Well, I may know this commanding officer. That's good, isn't it? Uh, if she's your friend, then maybe she'd be more willing to help us. I wouldn't. Did we establish she was a she already? Us. Friends? Acquaintances? Not quite. No. Colleagues? Former? Enemies? That's the one! Wait, what? Oh, yes, I come through here about once every ten years to get my eyes checked up in Atlas. You bring outside cashews on one flight, and suddenly you're placed on the additional screening list for life! You've gotta be kidding me. Now, now, let's not give up hope yet. Maybe she's dead. <laughs> Introducing special operative Caroline Cordovan. Another comically small character. Yes. Which she devil? Hmm. I see you've chosen larger contraband to smuggle this time. Oh, Cordo. You know, they say time changes people. But I see you've still got that stick right up. Oh, Miss, uh, mm. uh I wonder where her other scythe went. My name is Ruby Rose, and I was wondering if you would hear us out about... I've already heard Turns on the your magnet. other <laughs> friends had to say. Miss Rose. What are you doing back here? I thought I told you to leave! Uh -huh. And I told you we wouldn't rest until you let us Nice to see you again as well. You hmm. civilians are clearly incapable of comprehending the importance of our mission here in Argus. So allow me to say this slowly with smaller words. I need small this words. Base, that relay tower, the very safety of Argus are all gifts from the glorious kingdom of Atlas. And it is my duty to uphold them as only I have the wit the flag and tenacity come from? for such a Tenacity? Such tenacity. Witch. She's got tenacity! Such tenacity! I'm hyped. As possible. <gasps> You're just like the rest of these August ingrates. This city wouldn't even I am be hyped. here if it weren't for Yes, they brought up the tenacity and again. And yes, they did. In return? The entire world is ready to put a knife to our throats. Please, you're not I helping your things. Had nothing to do with the fall of Beacon. We were there. No one's happy about the Atlas borders or embargo. But I know General Ironwood is just worried. It's why we need to talk. The to general is no coward. Atlas is strong. I never said if Jimmy was a coward. To make us their enemy, then so be it. Atlas will prevail. Atlas will prevail. Do you guys seriously have to do that? Yes. If Mishni has truly come to her senses and wishes to return to her family, then of course the Atlas military will escort her home. But the kingdom will not be responsible for her friends of questionable character. What's that supposed to mean? It means she has ears. Oh yeah? Uh -oh. Well, your face looks like a big dumb boot. 
Way to show her, Nora. Yeah. Thanks, Nora. I always appreciate a, a helping word. I don't... Weiss, <laughs> I told you we wouldn't leave your side for a second. We'll find a way to Atlas. Together. Hmm. Together. Together. So, where are we Everyone. going now? Everyone. Yeah, what's the plan? The plan? The plan just got shut on our face three times over. I'm going for a drink. As I do. Even when things Uncle do Crow, go my I way. I really think we should try and come up with something... ...together. together. What's his problem? It's together. not your fault we can't Everyone. go on. If he's gonna be a jerk, then we'll just come up with something without him. I mean, we've got Ozpin with us. He usually knows what to do. Uh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is You it? still don't know. <laughs> do you? John! Overreaction time. Was for nothing. That's not true. Really? Because it sure wall. does sound like it. I am. If Salem can't be killed, then how are we supposed to win this? You're not. <laughs> Humanity <laughs> is. Wow. Great plan, everyone. Shut up, Sean. Look, none of this is great, we know. But we're not the bad guys here. Are we sure about that? What? He's in your head, isn't he? Did you already know about this? He didn't know anything! Why do we even trust him? John! How do we even know it's really him? Shut what up, John. Just kids. Wire this whole time? John! John is the one to overreact. Mm -hmm. Then there's Yang. What if something attacks his other shoulder? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or his legs, for that matter. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know! I think it would be best if we had some time to ourselves. You've already had that <laughs> for a while now. Well, they didn't have this information to mull over. Maybe eh. we could all use some space. Or a drink. Or several. Butterflies. Come on, please. Watch the butterflies, butterflies. Oh, where are you? Good thing you know, scrolls don't break very I came easily. Out here to avoid the yelling. Sorry. The others went to get food for tonight. Why not go with them? I don't know. Because I don't like them. Very I don't much. know anything. What do I tell Jean and his team when we don't even have a plan? The crow's out drinking. The husband hasn't come back, and even Got a if he did, I don't know lemon. if I can trust him. My favorite lemons. Gin, Strawberry. We only have one more question. I think blueberry. Time to make some fruit punch. I feel like I'm letting everyone down. Yeah. Well, you know, you are. You don't give yourself enough credit. Oh, <laughs> thanks. That wasn't a compliment. Uh, what? If I have to explain it to you, it'll just defeat the purpose. But <sighs> if you're tired of not knowing anything. How about we discuss those eyes of yours? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Coming on to me. I would be honored. <laughs> Step back down for Pete's what? sake. Oh, that was this Ruby's line. <laughs> Though. Let's start <laughs> with what you do. Have. Tell me. Uh, silver-eyed people are supposed to be legendary warriors, or something. Or something. And Very specific. At the fall of Beacon, I turned a giant wyvern into stone. Oh boy. Dragon. Yeah. Look, if I already knew everything, I wouldn't be asking for help. Yelling. It's not your fault. I had my father to teach me. And even he didn't have all the answers. But what he told me makes sense, given what I've seen. Was he a huntsman too? It wasn't really an official title back in his day. I only knew him as an old soldier and an excellent teacher. 
I never attended one of those fancy academies of yours, but I scored higher on the license exam than any other huntsman or huntress that day. Huh. He must have been proud. <laughs> he would have scolded me for showing off. He'd never been able to find much information about our abilities. Just legends of warriors whose eyes shone like mirrors, reflecting the light of the world onto darkness. He found so little, in fact, that it made him cautious. Why are they blue? How could such powerful bloodlines be yeah. so rare? Unless something was actively seeking to destroy them. Salem. I tried to keep my powers a secret, but as you know, it wasn't enough. That butterfly likes blueberry. I owe my life to my training and my semblance. At the end of the day, those are still your most powerful tools. What is your semblance? <laughs> Reflexes! A silly name I came up with. Hard to explain. But I can sense everything better than most, and Spidey react says. to attacks almost before they happen. Combine that with my training and so, secret ability bullets. to turn Grim mm. to stone. There you go. Or blind them. Or vaporize them. The fact that them. Adam can do it doesn't make sense. <laughs> and that's how you become the Grim Reaper. So, how do I laser beam monsters with my eyeballs? <laughs> First, you stop <laughs> thinking like that. I want you to think of all the times you've triggered your powers. One day, what I hope I'm an old person with knowledge so that I can hit somebody stupid in the I head. I was scared and stressed. Just wait till you have emotional? children. Like mm. unlocking a semblance? It's emotional, but more focused than that. Think. What is it you wanted? I wanted to protect my friends. Precisely. It is the desire to preserve life which fuels the light inside you. And to make no mistake, it is light. Preservation is an extension of creation. Or, Butterfly. at the very least, an enemy of destruction. The creatures of Grimm were made by the god of darkness. But your light comes from his brother. How do you know that? I always knew how to use the light. But never why it only worked on the Grim. Then Jin showed us her vision. Were you paying attention? The God of Light. His eyes. They weren't silver. They were okay. glowing. Where do we start? Well, not here. The light will only work in the presence of Grim, meaning the only practice you'll get will be a trial by fire. But what you can do is focus on creating a state of mind that you can tap into when you need it. Don't think about your light as a means of destroying evil, but as a way to protect the people of Remnant. But that can't be right. Hmm? You said the light only reacts to Grimm, but I used it during our battle at Haven. It reacted to Cinder. Interesting. Perhaps there was that something music? that you just weren't seeing. Yeah. Ruby! Yeah! The handpipe version of my favorite intro. Oh, yeah! Guys. What's going on? I like it. It's Oscar. He's missing. <gasps> no! Rats. Darn it. Gee darn, Gee darn it. it. What are we going to do without Oscar? I don't know. Let's just get lunch. Yeah. He says as if we hadn't already had lunch. Yeah, we have. <laughs> yep. Wow. Concept art. Wow. 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 Oh, look at that mountain. Wow. So, it appears as if everyone in the Atlas army, except for Jimmy, is just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. See what Jimmy has to deal with? Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, any thoughts on that? Um, glad we're finally figuring out this ice stuff. It's yeah. been alluded to for a long time. Yeah. Now we're finally actually getting into it. Yeah. That's that's something I'm enjoying about this this season. We're finally getting some payoff. On the ice stuff? Well, on lots of things. Like the whole episode of yeah. lore. That was good. It's a good time. Good time. Anyway, chapter nine, Lost. That's a good show. Anyway, let's just get started in three, two, one, click. This is how the war begins. Skip. You know, we haven't seen Adam this whole thing. No. Not since episode one. I hate being kept in the dark like this. Yeah, Cinder was a pain, but at least she I'm kept us filled in. I'm afraid of the dark. Can I ask you something? Nah. You're gonna. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why did you come with us? The night Cinder and I found you. Why are you asking? Just answer the question. Just made sense. Yeah. It made sense. All my life, my father trained me to be a killer, an assassin like him. And then moments after I killed him, you two showed up looking for someone with my exact skills. Just felt like it was meant to be. That's it? Hey, what's your problem? I mean, there has to be something you want from this, right? Salem's promised us everything. We win this thing for her, we'll be top dogs in her new world. What more do you want? Well, that's I what just tried to tell, make you believe. Cinder was the only family I ever had. She cared about me, taught me things. But without her here, I don't know if what we're doing. Wake up already. Cinder doesn't care about you. She doesn't care about either of us. You don't know what you're talking about. You're Shut in denial. Up. And if you're gonna start you having a crisis of identity or some crap, get me out of it. Uh oh. I'm sorry you didn't They're have a mommy each that other loved now. you. But I had a father who hated me. He never went easy on me. Every day of training was a beating. And when I unlocked my semblance, he stole it with his. This is a crutch. This makes you weak. He told me I could have it back when I was strong. So I got strong. But I never got it back. I've had to work harder than anyone to get where I am. You may not like it here without Cinder, but I think I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Mean, and I'm a big uh -huh. bad man now, just like the others. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? All what I learned was pain and violence, and now you're too afraid to leave it. Such a tragedy. You don't know me. <laughs> hey! Shh, 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 shh. I want to tell you both a little secret. Your question is all wrong. <laughs> what? What do you want from this? Children, please. If you're not loving what you're doing, then you're in the wrong field. So what? Are you saying we should just leave? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't do that. Then what did you come here for? To say Don't farewell. you. There's been a change in plans. Her grace must act swiftly if we are to prevail. If General Ironwood comes to his senses and calls upon aid from Vacuo, all may be lost for us. And so the good doctor and I are being be sent to Atlas to prepare. Huh? Prepare for what? Tyrion. No. It's time. Do what makes you happy, children. Please. I'm begging you. 
put a drip on the end of it, just so you know. Yes, this is in fact poisoned. Oscar! If you didn't get that already. Oscar! The city is enormous. You could have gone anywhere. This is all my fault. I overreacted. Shut I up, still John. Don't really yes, what you happened. did, actually. Was it about the mission? You overreacted. It's kind of hard to talk about. I know, I know. Top secret. Did he do something wrong? No, he didn't. We just got some new information, and it's going to be a lot harder like. than we thought. I mean, Buddy. if it was easy, then it wouldn't mm. be important, right? I think we're all just a bit. Why is that girl wearing one long next? sock? You could stay in Mistral. Yeah. Get your licenses at Haven and being non-symmetrical doesn't August. make you cool. There's a lot of yeah. things you can do here. I I know your mission is important. I but think there's also the who can that do it. same design it's that the girl had. That needs doing. Renal. It's. I think her leg like, thing. That's that's small. not it there. No. Well, I should go pick up Adrian from daycare. Mm. I'll let Tara know what's happening. Adrian. We'll meet you later. Good luck. Yeah, I don't like the leg choices of these people. <laughs> hey, there's a cafe over there. It was the same model, not? but different colors. I'm okay. Yeah. You two go on ahead. <laughs> That's not symmetrical. You don't want anything? No, a little bit. Like, like, look right there. It's yeah. the same thing. Right back. But a little bit isn't too bad, like, if you've got, like, one strap versus two on one leg or the other. But, like, yeah. if you've got only pants on one side of your body, <laughs> that's dumb. It is. Gets hit by a car. Because there are cars, whether or not they show them very often. Apparently. Like a dream. Oh. Time to hit you in the fields. Yeah. Some people Stop it. I'm sorry. It's just sad. It's really beautiful, isn't it? I wonder right who that here. is. She trained here. Sanctum Academy. Everyone was crushed when she chose Beacon over Haven. No one wanted to see her go, but it was where she wanted to be. Hmm. I'm this just glad she was familiar at all. by such amazing people. She should be standing here. She is. She understood that she had a responsibility to try. I don't think she would regret her choice because a huntress would understand that there really wasn't a choice to make. And a huntress Thanks, Velma. is what she always wanted to be. Kira never got the chance to graduate, but she was a huntress. Who are you, by the way? Thank you. That you just ask. Keep booked it. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh no, other people, bye. John, so why did you? <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I've been a terrible leader. Yeah. And a terrible friend, and I, John, this has to stop. We heard what you said to Cinder at Haven. You're not being fair to yourself. We love you just like we loved Pira. We're teammates, family. We don't want to lose you, too. I think. I think she knew she wasn't going to win. That she might not come out alive. But. Ah. I thought that's why she, she kissed also you. Knew hmm. She was the only one that could try. Yeah. Don't know why else she would. So she did. <laughs> Maybe we should too. Yeah, we should. Pira may not be by our side anymore. But we can fight like she is. And in a way. She will be. We should check back in at the house. Come on. There's an airplane. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. A leaf. I've Not never meaningful. seen him this bad. Come on, let's get him up. <sighs> Why am I on the stairs? Probably because no one's home, Uncle Crow. We've been out looking for Oscar. Oscar? Who's it? Who's that? <laughs> I'm sure this looks great to the neighbors. No luck. Your no. neighbors are probably already no. judging you enough. Don't worry. <laughs> we aren't going to Atlas without him. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. We? <laughs> Sorry we won't be staying. No, you're not. Hush now. This is a progressive... How about we get out you're of right, the You're right, you're right. Land. Oh, I was wondering when you'd get back. He tucked his shirt in. <laughs> he tucked his shirt in. <laughs> Took him long enough. Took him several reincarnations. I noticed when he first came back as the white-haired version, he also wasn't. He didn't tuck in his shirt. Is something cooking? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought maybe you guys would appreciate a hot meal after spending all day looking for me. Apparently. So that thing it's was pointless. We were all out there in the first place. Hey. Oscar, they just wanted to give a nod so to Pira sorry. again. Yeah. Earlier, I was way, way out of line, and what I said. No. It's and apparently, okay. have like a relative or something. These past few same colored hair, I've similar color palette. Things you were. I would assume so. I would assume so. I don't know so. how much longer I'm going to be me, but I did some thinking, and I do know that I want to do everything I can to help with whatever time I have left. Good. This team isn't the same without you, Oscar. Really? Okay. <gasps> the casserole! We're on it, Chef. My cabbages! Uh, combat gear looks good. Huh? Hmm. Combat gear? That's just a jacket. With belts on it. Where are you going now? Gotta have jackets really and belts if you're an anime celebration. character. You've been gone all day. Just sit with us. Look, Ruby, but I don't I'm like people. Worked out, uh, whatever all that was. But the fact is, we're not a single step closer to Atlas. Actually, I think I have an idea. But it's sort of a no going back kind of idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay, first we have to murder somebody. On watch, only Atlas airships have the clearance to leave each, for solitude. Each of us. So we. Deal in an Atlas airship. <coughs> that's Same. not just breaking the law. That's that's definitely worse. How would we even get onto the airfield? That part I haven't quite figured out yet. But I okay, was okay. Stop. Just stop. That's a Look, dumb if plan. This thing goes south. It's not something we can just fight our way out of. This is the Atlas military we're talking about. This is Jimmy. For your sake, just drop this. 
like a hot tamale. Give up. Give up. I want to hear him out. Ruby. I want to hear him out. I know you you're trying to tell him, us, Ruby. He's just no drunk. Right now. I don't really care what you think. I hurt my just feelings. Just because you don't have an idea doesn't mean we're out of options. Oz hasn't been here to tell us what to do, but we still managed to get this far anyway. We've been in bad situations before. And we didn't need an adult to come save us or tell us what to do. We just did it our way. Actually, you did. <laughs> Maria. And I say we do it our way. Yeah, you're gonna die. And if you think you can keep up with us kids, we'd be happy to have you. <laughs> Looks like you didn't give her enough credit either. Does he have to get bonked on the head? Not physically. Yeah, this one didn't move the story along too much. You know. Well, I'll forgive it. After all, I don't hate Oscar's design anymore. Like a dream. Nope. He's got Stinger can go in and out. Isn't that how normal stingers work? Who knows? If he stings somebody once, though, will his stinger break off and then he'll die? No. Okay. Scorpion. Oh, you're right. He's not a bee. He constantly stings you. It doesn't stop. He'll sting you until you fall into the lake that you were carrying him across on your back and drown. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because that's how it works. Yeah. Because it's in his nature. To sting people. Because he's insane. <laughs> and we're all frogs to him. Yep. Yeah. I know I'm a frog. Shush. <laughs> Shush, you frog. Or Baby Yoda will eat you. Oh, you're right. Anyway. <laughs> any thoughts? Um. I don't think I have anything more to say. Alright. Thank you guys. Filler episode, but yeah. yeah. Filler episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye.